definitely get all the parts for it. And I know Horizon Hobby Blaze is quite well, well, well supported. So yeah, so make sure you get the parts for it. Nothing worse than whacking it into something and find out you never get the parts for it anymore. It'll be cheaper to buy it. You end up buying it, buying another drone. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? You want to get, the, you know, the certain models yeah, are cheaper sometimes, um, but if you can't oh, get, fortunately, part. you can't get the parts. I'm going to do an experiment, Jez, if that's all right on you. I'm on the Linko at the moment, banging out, like, full power. But uh, above it, I've got the old, my little Murphy, my little 1500 base station rig on 4 watts. So whilst there's no one about and that, I'm going to uh, switch you over to the Murphy. I wonder if you'd be able to copy me, Rog. Yes, yes, yeah, try it, Roger. Right, hang on, so I've got to switch that off. Switch that up. Right. right. Yeah, Jez, Jez, uh, can you copy Fred in the shed on the uh, the Murphy 1500 over? Yeah, no problems there, Fred in the shed. Nine pounds, radio three to four. A little bit of interference in the background, but no problems whatsoever. Working lovely. That's not bad, is it? This is a 1982, I think, this radio. Um, really. <laughs> Donkey's years. Oh, it just sits here, do you know what I mean? I just, I, I don't normally use it, but uh, four watts out the back. It's uh, putting out, I think, about three watts. I think it does about three watts. So let's get into Potter's Bar. That's probably six miles, isn't it? Or just about. So that's not bad, is it? Over. Well, I've just taken a nine second video. So if I see you in the morning, I'll uh, play the video back to you. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a bad old radio. I, I keep it. I like the look of it. Um, I mean, it is kind of a crap radio. You know, they weren't any good when they were a uh, good, if you know what I mean. They had this sort of transformer hum and things like that. But a friend of mine had one in back in the day, and I could never ever have afforded one. Sounds sad, doesn't it? But my pocket money would never sort of reach to one. So. Uh, yeah, finally I've got one. I'll pick one on eBay a few few years ago. But I'm glad it's still working. Over. It's working nice. I've got a four watt rig sitting there. I've got a Uni A 300 home base sitting there. Also over there is a President Jackson, a President George, and a Cobra 29. Yeah, it's working. A1. Yeah, Roger. I mean, yeah, some of these old rigs. You know, I mean, you see them on eBay, don't you? Um, you get, I get, you get tempted. I do anyway. I get. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was, it was back in the day, because um, you're like a little bit younger than me, so you missed sort of what I call a day. But back in the day, you know, there was the Murphy 1500, and then there was the Fidelity base station, which is that kind of triangular one, which looks a bit odd. And the people, that, like the posh kids, you know, that had parents that had a bit of money, uh, the posh kids got spoiled and instead of like, because their parents didn't want them mucking around with uh, kind of, car batteries and things like that they thought it was dangerous to have those in their bedroom so the posh kids got these uh, home base stations and the little Murphy a friend of mine in Barnet um, I think his name was Spider-Man or something he got one yeah and it always reminded me of the uh, American AM rigs that we saw like on convoy and things like that over oh no volume squelched him out um, I've only got 10 now yeah that rig you're on about is used in um if you, if you look at the um, film, um, the, uh, the, if you look at the, the single, the, the convoy, um, the convoy video. When he's on stage singing, he's got one of them, one of them rigs. Uh, yes, and another one you made. It's weird. It's a uh, yeah. What is it? For De yeah, for Delhi three thousand. It's a long one, long triangular show. And another one you made. You no know, Windows Seven support. You know, he's going to be. It's going to stop pretty much as soon as Windows Ten become established. But I don't think they'll do that because obviously. Um, certainly businesses won't upgrade straight away, so I think they'll lose a lot of money over. Yeah, well, they're trying to be like Apple. I don't know if you noticed that. Most Apple stuff, like desktop, phones, iPads, all the same. So when you get an iPhone, you won't need instructions. When you get an iPad, it's like, oh, it's in the smartphone.